How's it going everyone? This is Abe's Car Collection back with another Through the Mail Tuesday video this week. We have eight returns to look at. Pretty excited to see who they are. We're going to start in North Texas, Texas, Dallas, Texas. Hope everybody's have a, having a fantastic start to your week. Hope your mailboxes are full as well. And without further ado, got some nice tape up here too. Billy Sims. Great way to start it. And a hard card. We have a rookie card too. Two of two success. I believe this is a 1981 rookie. Yep. And then an 83. Not as good with these ones, but yeah, an 83. So two of two success for Mr. Billy Sims. So we got some blue ink on the rookie card, some black ink on the 83. And who's Billy Sims? Well, had a phenomenal career at Oklahoma where he went on to win the Heisman Trophy. He was a two-time consensus, consensus All-American and Davey O'Brien Award winner. He then went first overall in the 1980 draft to the Detroit Lions as you see here. Only played five seasons in the league, but he was... Rookie of the Year in 1980, a three-time Pro Bowler from 1980 to 1982, so, so three straight. Led the NFL in rushings that rookie year as well. So had a phenomenal year, or excuse me, a phenomenal start to his career. And then some injuries took over, and unfortunately we didn't get to see the great potential of Billy Sims. But still, absolutely phenomenal football player, phenomenal running back. And thank you, Mr. Billy Sims, for your autograph. Let us check out the spreadsheet here. He is, of course, also in the College Football Hall of Fame. And in that short NFL career, had 5,100 rushing yards and 42 touchdowns. So let's see here. Scrolling through this spreadsheet. To the S is these cards came back in just 68 days. Again, thank you, Mr. Billy Sims. Former Heisman Award winner. Next, let's go to Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. I did not write that on there. This individual did. Right, please do not bend on the front and back. So, very, very nice. I would hope that means that the cards are signed. Be kind of funny if they didn't. Steve Owens, so one Heisman winner to another. Look at that. That's a pretty nice coincidence, considering they're both Heisman winners from Oklahoma. He won, of course, in 1969. You see here, uh, 71 All-Pro. John Brockington also signs through the middle. I don't know about Willie Ellison, but here's a 72 tops rushing leaders. Here's a 73 tops. Has a 71 All-Pro on there. And then a 76 tops. Again, the 71 All-Pro. 3-3 three three from Mr. Steve Owens. I think the 76 turned out the best with all that green grass there. Um, but as I said, won the Heisman in 19... What was it? 69? Drafted in the first round, again by the Lions. Nice little coincidence again. He played with them from 1970 to 1974. So was that a four-year career? No, five-year career? Having some... Uh, some ties there to Billy Sims, five-year career with the Lions. His uh, career NFL totals weren't as great as Billy Sims. He had 20 rushing touchdowns with just under 2,500 rushing yards. As you see here, he made the Pro Bowl, was an All-Pro in 1971. Um, it was also, I guess you could say his, his time was the Heisman, though, at Oklahoma. Was also an All-American there, won the Walter Camp Award as well, and is in the College Football Hall of Fame. Now, after... His time in the NFL, he went on to be the AD for a short period of time in Oklahoma as well. So, checking out the spreadsheet here, making my way up to those O's. And these cards came back in just seven days. Thank you, Mr. Steve Owens. What a fantastic return. I'm going to have to send out to John Brockington. I believe he is a $7 fee. Never sent to him before. We'll see going to feature that 76 tops so and put it there next to that Billy Sims. So, if you're a Lions fan or an Oklahoma fan, it's the week for you. Speaking of those Lions, let's go to Metroplex, Michigan. 
It'd be funny if this was another lion. Because <laughs> I don't send to the, to the lions that much. Not that I don't like them. It's just, there we go. Greg Landry. Play with Steve Owens. I think he actually played with Billy Sims too. So we got three for three. for three. 76 tops. 77 tops. And a 72 pro action. That's pretty cool. I like those pro action cards. Blue ink. Love that. Three for three on Lions. I promise I am not a Lions fan. But Craig Landry, first round pick in 1968 to these Detroit Lions out of UMass of all places. Spent some time with the Colts as well and the Bears. So he didn't actually end up playing with Billy Sims. He was with the, uh, the Colts during that time. But then after that, went on to be a, a coach in the NFL for quite a while. I think from 85 to 1996. As you can see, he used a 1971 Pro Bowl selection. Had a very nice year there. Then had some down years. And then was the 1976 NFL Comeback Player of the Year. Threw 98 touchdowns in his career. Just over 16,000 passing yards. And these cards came back in... It's like 21 days, 3 weeks exactly. Thank you, Mr. Greg Landry. I don't know if I have any more Detroit Lion requests out there. Maybe I do. But so far, it is a Lions week. Very cool. Isn't that funny how life sometimes works out? Let's go to Pittsburgh, PA next. I don't know if any former Lions live there. Let's see here. We got a hard card. Come on, Abe. You can do it. Apologize for the struggles. There we go. And we got JT Thomas. So not a lion. Broke our lion streak. That is his rookie card though. 75 tops. And then did not sign the 76 tops. Maybe he moved down to a one per. Well, I don't know if I've ever... I've sent to him I think once before. I may have only sent one card. So he may have always been a one per. But that's okay. JT Thomas. Won four Super Bowls with those Pittsburgh Steelers. Playing opposite of Mel Blunt, a Hall of Famer. Also in that secondary, Mike Wagner, another great player. Not in the Hall of Fame, but another great player, just like JT Thomas was, part of those four Super Bowls. Made the Pro Bowl in 1976, though. Had 20 career interceptions. Was a first-round pick for these Pittsburgh Steelers in 1973 out of Florida State. Had a fantastic career. This card came back in 43 days. JT Thomas. Glad he signed the rookie card. So, met him at a card show not that long, eh, like six or seven months ago. Really nice guy. So, again, thank you, Mr. JT Thomas. Signed Steelers rookie card to the collection. And we are all football this week. We were all Lions, now we're all football. Next, let's go to Fresno, California. We have a bunch of cards from Scott McGregor. Interesting. I sent these to... Oh, he signed doubles, too. Wow, look at that. Scott McGregor, 4 for 4. Now, I sent this to an address in Maryland. So, I hit my camera there. And they came back from Fresno, California. So, that threw me for a bit of a loop. As you see here, got the 84 tops in blue ink, 85 tops in blue ink, 87 tops in blue ink, and then an 84 tops in blue ink. Don't ever send doubles, but for some reason I did this time. So, very cool. Thank you for Mr. Scott McGregor for signing doubles. But for those of you that do not know him, he pitched his entire career for the Baltimore Orioles from 76 to 88, I believe. Was a one-time All-Star in 1981. Won the World Series with them, of course, in 1983. And is part of their Baltimore Orioles Hall of Fame. Now check out my spreadsheet here. He won... He won 138 games in his career, just under a 4 earn on average, I think it was 399, and just under 1,000 strikeouts, 904, going to my end. I sent this to Maryland, but came back from Fresno. Maybe he's doing some coaching out there or something. Anyways, these cards came back in 32 days. Thank you, Mr. Scott McGregor. I think I like the uh, 87 tops the most, but we're going to put these down here. We broke our football streak. Again, kind of surprised I sent doubles, but I definitely did. 
I wrote that down in my spreadsheet. I think I only had four cards of them, and I figured why not. But again, thank you, Mr. Scott McGregor, for signing my cards. Let's go to Tampa, Florida. St. Petersburg, Florida. Down the... Back to the East Coast. And we have Mr. Joe J. Or Joey J. Sent him two cards. 63 tops and a 65 tops. Never had sent to him before, but I believe I see Mr. Johnny Serena send to him. And I looked into his career and I was like, wow, that's a pretty good career. That career culminated in 99 wins, a 377 ERA, and 999 strikeouts. Just short, one short of 1,000. He was a two time All Star, both in 1961, back when they were playing two games a year. And that same year, he led the NL in wins. So, that was his first year at the Reds. Stayed with them from 1961 to 1966 after having some time with the Milwaukee Braves back in the 50s. And then the Atlanta Braves in 1966. So, went to the Braves, the Reds, and the Braves. Pretty cool. Of course, that 61 season was his best. And checking out the spreadsheet. These cards came back in looks like 10 days. Now, I've seen some people say he doesn't require a fee. I've seen online where it says he has a $5 fee per. And so I sent these two cards with $10. I think if there's even a question about there being a fee, you might as well just send the fee. So both cards came back in beautiful blue ink. Again, thank you, Mr. Joe slash Joey J. Very cool cards put these here so we go from some football to some baseball I'm gonna slide this over let's go to West Palm Beach Florida next stay down there in the sunshine state we have oh, 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 oh please be signed Joe Schmidt that's awesome let's continue the Lions day Oh, and there's more than one card in here. And they're both signed. Blue ink. I love that. This is a 56 tops. Mr. Michael Myers. What do you think? That is so cool. Joe Schmidt. And then I believe this is a 61 tops. But man, that rookie card is clean. Sorry, I'm just a little. I, know, I love this card. <laughs> And Joe Schmidt, he is not talked about a lot. Maybe maybe a little bit in the TTM community. I don't feel like he really is. But and just in football history in general, he is not talked about a lot. Um, but played his entire career with the Lions from 1953 to 1965. And then uh, was a coach with them from 67 to 72. Won two NFL championships with them. Once in 1953, once in 1957. Was a 10 time Pro Bowler. 10 straight years he's in the Pro Bowl from 1954 to 1963. That, of course, culminated in him being on the 1950s NFL All Decade team. Is part of the NFL 100th anniversary all time team. The Detroit Lions retired his number 56, and he is in both the Pro Football and the College Football Hall of Fame. Mr. Joe Schmidt, that is an awesome rookie card. Um, Mr. Michael Myers and I have been bidding on these against each other. I think I have four of them, and this is the only one I have signed. So, it looks incredible, though. Really happy to get this one back, if you cannot tell. But, let's see here. Checking out the spreadsheet, I think these cards came back in just 11 days. Quick turnaround. I don't believe he charges, um, but I sent $10, so I sent, I guess, $5 per. I, I really don't think he charges, though, um, but I was sending the rookie card and really wanted to get it back, and so I sent $10 of these two cards, so feel free to send, you know, a fee. It's, these older guys, they did not make the money that newer guys made, obviously. I know a lot of people say that, but I just... I love this card. It looks fantastic and really appreciative that he signs. So thank you, Mr. Joe Schmidt, for your autograph. 
that's awesome 100 percent going to send this to beckett and get it slapped already sent a card of his to beckett before from a return i got maybe a year ago and it came back authentic so sorry mr greg landry i'll bump you over here and we're gonna put that 1956 rookie card front and center that's back-to-back -back weeks, too. We had a Lenny Moore, 56 tops last week, too. So, whew, pretty good run. Pretty happy. And we still have one more turn to go. Thank you for everybody for sticking with me. This has been a, a long week. And if you're a Lions fan, it's been a good week for you. You have four returns from them. Let's go to Charlotte, North Carolina next. End it with that. We have a hard card. We have Mr. J.C. Martin. I believe this is the second time I've... Oh, I love that. <laughs> I know this is not intentional, but uh, for those of you who do know, this is Gary Peters, Tom, and J.C. Martin. So, of course, they they sign it. This will be going to Gary Peters at some point. I love how the this just kind of is coming from his nose, his signature. I don't know why. I, I'm, I'm immature. I find that funny, though. But sign the 60 tops. The 64 tops. Of course, blue ink. Love it. 61 says his rookie that's a lie and then a high number from 1972 this might be his last card too but that's awesome man that's a i like that 72 one that pink looks really nice red i don't know what it's supposed to be it looks like pink to me though but jc martin very cool great ttmer love Everybody loves getting this high with uh, Gary Peters. I do have one just like it. I did not get the Gary Peters one. I know I'm just, I wasn't sending it for this card. I really just wanted to get this 72 tops card. And I had these other ones, so why not send them if you have them? But JC Martin had a very memorable career. Uh, played with the White Sox from 1959 to 1967. Then went on to the Mets. Was a part of those amazing Mets from 68 to 69. Of course, won a World Series with them in 1969. They had that infamous play in the World Series. Very controversial play where the game was tied 1-1 in the bottom of the 10th. And it was a pinch runner. I think it was Rod Gasper, if I'm remembering correctly, on second. And J.C. Martin came in, pinch hit for Tom Seaver. Bunted to the mound while he was running to first. He was hit in the arm by Pete Riker. Uh, throw and that error allowed Gasper to score the game winning run and replays showed that Martin was running you know inside the baseline could have resulted in being called out for interference they they didn't make that call the umpires didn't so pretty cool people I think on the other side thought that he intentionally interfered with the play but it's okay hurts me as an ass fan because Trey Turner got called out for that in the World Series but we won't talk about that much more. Anyways, after that year, he was traded to the Chicago Cubs and played with them, I think, all the way up until 1972, and then he became a coach for them. I think he was actually cut in 73 spring training, but fantastic career, very memorable one. So, checking out the spreadsheet here, these cards came back in just 11 days. Thank you, Mr. J.C. Martin course going to send this to gary peters why wouldn't i four four great week very great week of returns been on a really nice string here I mean, look at all those cards that's awesome you know i love this one the best i, I mean how weird is it we got four lions returns i i, I probably have four detroit lions re requests out there and they all came back in the same week and i didn't send them at the same time so but appreciate everybody sticking with me there. Love this card. Um, hope you all have a are having a fantastic week. I hope your mailboxes are full as well. Bye for now.